All right, guys, I'm going to break down how to build an audience and make money from Twitter. And this is going to be an end-to-end -end masterclass on Twitter marketing that I did, I was thinking about actually breaking down into parts, one about audience building and one, another part to monetization. But well, I decided to package everything in a single video that you can consume since this is my way to celebrate the 1,000 subscribers with you guys. And the reason why I wanted to start with this video is because Twitter is by far my favorite social media platform outside of YouTube. The problem with YouTube is that you cannot have like conversations with people that way that you could on Twitter. Makes sense? So I'm going to break down everything from A to C. Who should use Twitter? What types of content to create? And my best tips from going from zero all the way to 2,000 followers is spending almost no time in this platform. Are you ready to dive right in? If so, guys, make sure to watch this video to access speed so that you can consume this video, start taking action right now and just enjoy what you're going to learn, okay? So the first thing that I would say is that in the last 28 days, I've been able, again, with only 2,200 followers, 54.4 thousand impressions on my tweets. Instagram could never, Facebook could never, just TikTok could, but of course the difference by nature, Twitter is a platform where you can actually excel by the thoughts and by the things that you can actually, you know, share and be of value to your, to your audience and to the marketplace. Make sense? But most importantly, since we're business people, we, we don't only just care, of course, about the actual impressions. We care about revenue, growth, and influence over others, right? Since I started on Twitter, again, only with 2,000 followers, we've been able to generate over six figures in revenue from this platform, over 2,000 people inside of my free Facebook group and over 1,300 email list subscribers, right? And listen, if you want to get access to the document that I'll be breaking down, by the way, make sure to actually come and join my free Facebook group. Or if you don't use Facebook that much for whatever reason, make sure to follow me on X and DM me the word access and I will send it your way. All right, let's just get started with why you should be on Twitter in the first place. The reality, guys, is that Twitter slash X is going to be the app of the future and I'm going to go all in on it. And listen, I think that it's going to be either six six months all the way to maybe three years from now when Twitter becomes the platform for social media users, aka everyone. And, and not only because it's infinitely better than Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, etc., but the growth potential and organic reach or, or traffic that you can get is the best one out of all of the social media platforms that you can have. That's reason number one. Like the actual reach is incredible. Like you saw in here with only 2,000 followers, we've been able to get 54,000 impressions. And more important, and this is why I think that more and more people are going to start getting into these sort of platforms, the content creators are the people with the most leverage and the future of all business is going to be in content. X slash Twitter, now more than ever, is actually giving more and more incentives on, on content creators to actually stay on the platform and get monetized without having to go through the hassle that other social media platforms require them in order for them to, you know, start making some money in the first place, okay? And please still till the end because I'm going to break down everything from how to actually go about the audience building type of part of the equation. I'm also going to start breaking down the types of content to create. I'm going to break down appointment setting flows and how we actually go about booking maintenance both album and inbound so again stick with me till the end so that you can get access to all of this okay not only is x now giving major incentives to creators and again only platform doing better than this is youtube but standing out in this platform is not about flexing rolexes and lambos but thoughts experiences and insights allowing a wide variety of users to add their unique touch to the app experience of course of course it's slowly changing since now it's possible to load short form slash long form videos on twitter highlights etc and every week lots of improvements are being made to the platform but the reality guys is that the best social media combo that i found is having YouTube in the first place to generate awareness, nurture leads and conversions, like going deep with your audience, but having X to share ideas, demonstrate competence and validate angles that you can then use on your YouTube content, if that makes sense. Okay. While at the same time, have a platform to, of course, interact, engage, etc. We're, we're soon going to be able to even call people inside of the platform, etc. Okay. And then on top of this, an auto converting funnel to get clients with ads and warm outreach. And this could be like a Facebook group, maybe an Instagram profile, LinkedIn, a LinkedIn profile or an X profile. Okay. In this video, I want to break down how I'm using Twitter to test marketing angles to see what's going to be a hit in all social media platforms, get clients through, for example, content via direct call to action, threats, giveaways, and in the past, album prospecting, which is, by the way, Twitter is the best platform by far to do albums. We've been able to make up to 300 album DMs per day without having any uh, any trouble whatsoever. There are some people that say that they can do a thousand, but we've never got to that volume, but yeah, just hopefully you get my point. And also, I use Twitter as a brain dump of ideas. Obviously, I don't have the biggest audience of I just want to make that super clear, but I've been able to see, people, but I've seen people with over 2,000 followers making one tenth of the money that we've made on the platform, even we, we had only 200 followers. And this is all about growing quality followers and clients instead of just focusing on fake engagement and going through other people's posts and just copy paste whatever they do. So guys, at the end of the day, who is this video for? Number one, for high ticket information businesses, coaches, consultants, core sellers. Number two, marketing, sales, and growth agencies, only as long as you have a unique set of insights that you can share for a specific market segment. And for any 
anyone familiar with X, most people trying to grow spend 90% of their time commenting on other people's posts, copy pasting tweets, etc. Which even if it can get you some traction at the beginning, just destroys your presence since it's just so obvious that you're focusing on the wrong stuff. Make sense? What I want you guys to understand is that all you guys need to focus on, especially if you're just getting started in this platform, is number one, getting clients. Number two, getting results to your clients. And number three, building an actual business. Not simply selling some bullshit ghostwriting or growth hacking services that nobody cares about. You need to be focused on these three things so that you can actually get real insights from the marketplace, from your service, from people who are having real struggles out there. So you can actually package all of those, all of that knowledge and start sharing that on Twitter. That's literally the the hack that you have when it comes to this platform. Instead, if you have done every, anything whatsoever with your business or, or in your life for that matter, you can come in and follow the strategy that you learn in this video, follow the content schedule that I'm going to share with you, and ultimately grow on this platform while immediately becoming the person worth following so that you can not have to fake it to you make it, but actually just make it because it's just inevitable by the actual work that you've done. Make sense? At the end of the day, this is not Instagram, right? So guys, if you've been enjoying this long introduction so far, make sure to leave a like to the video. Let me know your thoughts so far on the comments. In case you're not, subscribe to the channel. So guys, part one is going to be growth and audience building. And there's in, inside of the growth and audience building part of the equation, there's going to be two main things that we've got to focus on. The first one is what I call foundational work, okay? And the second is what I call what I call the actual content cadence that we're going to follow, make sense? So when it comes to the foundational work, what this means is that even if you're not interested in growing your social, your following in here, this part will be important if you're doing outreach to get clients or running paid advertisement in any way, shape or form. The way we go about the foundational work is simply, you know, optimizing your profile and having a cadence of content so that people can actually believe what you say, okay? So when it comes to content optimization, most people will have you write an I help statement and I think that that's bullshit. Just be clear about the outcome slash expectation people can have if they follow you or they want to do business with you. As long as you're able to clearly communicate this to the marketplace and to people who visit your profile, you're good to go. You can always follow the I help niche do X desired outcome without objections or without painful thing be a unique mechanism. That's something that you can follow and you just simply have no clue whatsoever on what to do. But I think that it's just better to be unique. And what you need to demonstrate at the end of the day is simply the status in some way, shape or form. So my example in here is, we license and manage our 100K per month selling systems to your business, over $2.5 million generated for clients, and then a link for people to see my BSL. Okay, super, super simple. And something that I've noticed work phenomenally well, not only on Twitter, but on all social media platforms in general is be bold, okay? If you like boot, books and coffee, add a banner, really Related to that and this applies to any special hobby or subject you're particularly interested in and what's ultimately more important again is status for example why should someone consider you being the person worth following because if you're not able to communicate that and you're not able to demonstrate that you're actually knowledgeable in whatever it is that you do you're already in i mean you're already fucked up regardless of what growth hacking bio thing you have going on another case is are you doing something or sharing something that's actually different from other people on the platform because in case that you were this is where the magic happens this is the type of stuff that and you need to leverage so that people actually want to follow you in the first place. And if you go to Twitter, specifically this little corner called Money Twitter, here's what the average account looks like. All of them have the, I help CEOs and founders use Twitter as a legion source, helping B2B companies book five to 10 more qualified appointments. I get your business appointments with leads so you can focus on profitable and strategic work. All of them literally communicate the same shit, okay? There's nothing inherently wrong with any of these bios except that everyone has exactly the same thing. Again, be unique because in case if you're not able to do that, you're always going to be screwed, okay? So that's the first part, profile optimization. The second part is what I call the pin suite. And this is something that most people don't use to their advantage, which is straight up weird, okay? One of the best things about Twitter is that the links that you add to your posts slash content are actually clickable, meaning that you can allow for movement from one place to the other. Of course, if you're just starting out, you'll not have that much traffic here, but as you start doing giveaways, start building your audience, and people will start visiting your profile and check out your stuff. And since the goal of your social media profiles is to demonstrate that delta that makes you worth of being followed, especially since looks are thankfully out of the equation in this platform, from Twitter, you want to share something that makes people immediately check their legs when they, whenever they go and go like, oh man, I, what the fuck is this guy sharing, right? Example, this is free, no opt-in. This is what I do with my profile. I literally say, hey, here's an, an 80 page collection of organic and paid systems to fast track your way to 51K per month. I literally just leave the Google Doc in there. Join my private Facebook community so that people can actually go from my Twitter to my Facebook group where I can not only build my email list, but most importantly, I can start leveraging a welcome sequence to my advantage and actually get clients through appointment setting flows from there. Make sense? Super simple, but really freaking powerful. So what I want you to do is in case that you're interested in that, by the way, go and watch the playlist that I have on 
Facebook group growth and monetization so you can see how to grow your own group and monetize your own group okay we'll leave the link in the description for that so this is what I do in your case you can do something similar or you can share for example client case studies a direct offer breaking down exciting features of your offer like warranties unique method use cases etc a value-based thread sharing an insight or something related to your business a lead magnet sending to an opt-in slash landing page your YouTube channel an invitation to your Facebook group etc okay you see just be unique and do something that people go like oh man this is interesting I want to learn more about what this, what this guy has going on okay again you simply want something that makes people immediately think you're a savage in bonus points if you actually want so now that you're optimized on the profile site it's time to generate attention and make people visit your profile slash get traffic in general and most people will have you engaging on doing random comments on big accounts to grow which can definitely get you some extra eyeballs especially at the beginning but that's focusing on the wrong stuff that like we saw at the beginning of this video and listen we have a business to run and if you're wasting your time simply commenting hey i agree with that definitely critical to start applying like everybody on twitter does i mean get your priorities straight that means that you're literally just wasting your time and you have no business to run which means you focus not on growing your twitter in your brand but focus on doing outreach sending cold emails doing call calls running ads whatever it might be what should you do instead focus on your business gather unique unique insights and share those unique insights people who grow the fastest on twitter are those who have something special to add to the conversation not the other way around so let's take a look at my content schedule i just want to share it with you guys so that you guys can see how i go around it and how you can apply this for your own business okay obviously there's more stuff that you can do outside of what i'm about to show you but i'm breaking out the type of stuff that i've done to grow my twitter account while attracting my ideal clients and synchronizing those efforts with my youtube channel which is ultimately my primary platform in terms of content creation okay so when it comes to content on twitter guys from monday to sunday you're going to create content but the beauty of twitter is that you gotta simply share your thoughts okay so from monday to sunday anytime you have a thought or an idea share it super simple on Mondays and Thursdays, I do my YouTube videos. So what I like to do is do some sort of giveaway post. I will give you some examples in a second so you can see how you go around it. But the point of that is that people start to reshare them, repost them, uh, like them, comment, and that gives me more exposure, more traffic. So I actually get more people to my YouTube video. And then on the next day, I honestly don't usually do this, but I should start doing it, and you should honestly, is break down in depth the process that you actually talked about in your YouTube video. Since every YouTube video actually shares uh, something that in theory is going to be deep and that is relevant to your audience, you already made the effort of making the market research. So just break that video down into a thread or in, you know, in long form type of blog post type of format, and then people are going to consume that and get nurtured inside of Twitter. You want to be a smart guy with your time and your, and your efforts, make sense? So there are different types of content. I just want to break down what I use and what I think that has worked really well for me. So the first thing is what I call ideas. These are my favorite type of contents, by the way, but these are the type of content that simply share opinions or build up the character with your audience. And you want to share whatever you believe in. So for example, the other day I just made this post saying like you're destined to have a commoditized knowledge if all, your, all you learn and your only source of knowledge come from big influencers or mainstream books slash big accounts the best piece of content I've consumed are obscure almost no views interviews from small creators and I leave a link of an example in there another example is predictions on Alex or Moses 100 million dollar leads and I just shared what I thought that was happening by the way it's actually happening so I think that I'm like the Nostradamus of marketing I'm kidding <laughs> but you got my point I just share my thoughts and my opinions the best thing about this type of content is that you can talk about anything and twitter makes it very easy to reshare on all our social media platforms via stories for example in that set i prefer to simply copy paste the text and publish natively on facebook or linkedin that's the process okay so that's the first part so that's the first type of content the second type of content is called the threats or the proof of content competence content as i like to call it and listen in the past these were limited to actual threats since twitter didn't allow for long-form content but a couple of months ago that changed and it no longer has to be specifically to threats, okay? Regardless, these are the types of content that make people or the, aka the reader see that you know what you're talking about and that's why you don't want to give generic advice since it literally defeats its purpose you know the typical person that makes a tweet like here's how you built a grand slam offer reading alex's or moses 100 million dollar offers right if you you see like uh, that's the type of content that everybody does and they just like, plain bullshit and i just think that it actually defeats the, defeats the purpose of me creating content in the first place okay now here's an example of a threat i said hey cold email is one of the few logical approaches to get customers in the b2b space whether it's at scale or for a starting agency but everyone is copying the same scripts and targeting the same people. Very really distressed to learn and steal our client signing framework. You see? Super simple. 
another example of a long form proof of competence suite I was literally just talking about so everybody nowadays know about the importance of com content but I said hey content is important and you gotta focus on that but you want to see content as a traffic and nurturing asset not a conversion engine and people go like oh shit what does that, this guy is talking about when it comes to a conversion engine what does that mean people go and learn more about it and then ultimately go like hmm, there's an, in an insight that I never thought about right that's the goal of this type of content now third type of content is giveaways these are hands down the best way to send traffic to your profile and get followers and it consists on offering a lead magnet an asset or something in exchange of a combo of retweets, likes, comments, followings, etc. If you do this right, you can get 1,000 followers from a single post or more, honestly. And why do I love Twitter? It's no luck that my best performing tweet is at the same time my most watched YouTube video. If you take a look at my most viewed tweet is this one where I basically talk about the CRM that I've built and the lead tracking tool that I've built using Google Sheets. Um, well, this one has well, 49,300 views. If you go to my most watched YouTube video, at least to date, is this one. It's all about how I build the best sales CRM using Google Sheets. And the reason why this happens is because what I do with Twitter is that I validate my ideas and angles on Twitter, notice what, if there's demand, and then I create a YouTube video to fulfill on that demand. Make sense? That's how you create good, good offers, by the way. Most people just try to think about what things work and they just bring up, bring an offer, and then they see if there's some demand in the marketplace. When in reality, what you gotta do is see what, the, what people are asking for, the demand that there is, and then what you do is that you channel that demand to an offer that you create that is pretty much warranted to sell. Essentially, that's the way I like to go around it. And ultimately, there is the fourth type of content that is just videos, okay? Recently, X is allowing to post video content inside of the platform. And believe it or not, since there's so much demand for video on the platform and so little supply, the reach is enormous. I wouldn't change it for YouTube though because of the search cap capabilities, all of that good jazz, but reach on Twitter is phenomenal. If you're doing micro VSLs on Instagram or TikTok, I repurpose that on X though, super crucial. This is an example, I just made this video talking about the fastest way to grow a Facebook group, and I said organic and paid methods. This one got 419 views, one repost, one six likes and four bookmarks. And as a matter of fact, let me just share one of my latest videos that I made on Twitter so you can see what I mean. Look at this one. I talked about how I booked 314 sales calls using this DM follow-up system. And I and this video has 10 likes, 574 views, and two comments. Super powerful. Taking in mind that it's been two or three days since I posted this and that I only have 2,000 followers. And something else that I want to add is that now that I know that people liked that video, I can now create a YouTube video around it. As a matter of fact, the video is going to be the same one. It's just the title and maybe the thumbnail that I will have is going to be re is going to revolve around what I shared on that X post. Okay, so that's the first part of, of the actual native type of, of content that you can create inside of Twitter. I want to now talk about the YouTube distribution process that I like to use so that I can not only get clients, but most importantly, make sure that the efforts that I make on my organic content is actually well distributed across all the social media, okay? So my entire content marketing strategy is based on YouTube. So what I want you guys to do is actually watch the, a, a video that I will leave in this document where I talk about how I synchronize my YouTube and Twitter's content strategy to grow both platforms, but at the same time, use them in harmonically, if that makes sense. And that said, I use Twitter to share insights, brain dump, brain dump ideas, and validate angles, while simultaneously boosting traffic to my YouTube videos and actual X profile. So the process is super simple. I write slash record a YouTube video, I publish the YouTube video, then I do a Twitter giveaway on YouTube on, on the YouTube video, so this gets re reposted, likes, comments, so I send people via DMs privately, so they watch the video, which of course increases the views, but most importantly, you know, I now have a conversation going on in the DMs, okay? Then 24 hours, after the, I do the Twitter giveaway, I share the link in the post so that people so that people can go from Twitter to YouTube. You should have a good start growing your Twitter profile without simping on the big accounts to get followers, okay? And most importantly, to get qualified buyers on the platforms by priming your social content following what we've covered so far. Now, part two of this video is going to be essentially client acquisition and monetization. Because of course, most people are going to just tell you, hey, here's how I grew my following, here's how you get followers, here's how you get traffic, here's how to create content. That doesn't pay the bills, right? We actually we need to get customers, we need to make money from the efforts we make. So when it comes to monetization and client acquisition inside of this platform, there are going to be, of course, like any other platform, honestly, two main ways to get them. One is through outbound and two is going to be through inbound. When it comes to outbound, if you're just starting out, it's of course hard to rely exclusively on inbound leads. So you want to focus on outbound, or ads first to get clients, while you also start creating content as a nurturing tool, and ultimately as time goes by, maybe an inbound traffic machine. So the first way to go around this is what I call the straight call DMs, and you can actually follow the process that I like to preach, and that not everybody is copying over here on the on YouTube, where you divide the appointment setting and album prospecting effort in two main phases. 
on the first part you have what BAs can do and or what software can do which is lead sourcing and actual reach out actually just doing volume and then once you get replies and once you start to get interest from your album prospecting efforts you actually add all of the positive replies to a CRM so that you or your appointment setter manage the conversations and book calls with these meetings that's how you go around having a smart appointment setting process from outbound and one of the best things about X is that this is the easiest platform to do volume we've done up to 100 300 DMs per day getting some warnings here and there during the day but only needing to rest for 20-ish minutes to continue and here's the KPIs to target at this stage so you want to do minimum 100 new combos per day and then 200 follow-ups on Fridays only to do the cold leads this can be done by the SDRs or BDRs or your BAs essentially prospecting BAs then 10 percent of the people you reach out to should reply positively meaning that if you do 100 you should aim for at least 10 CRM ads every single day once you get CRM ads to your CRM of course then what you do is that from those warm leads that are now in your CRM to a book call you want to book, go out you want to book at least 20 percent aka at least two calls booked per day because you're getting 10 CRM ads per day that's ultimately the KPI and that's going to be managed by your appointment setters and then the last part of the equation is just a closing and here you want to have at least a 25 percent closing rate so following this KPI you should be having at least one client per week at two calls per day so if you follow our process you have BAs slash software doing the initial outreach and once these people reply you'll add them to the CRM and continue the conversation manually or by your appointment setter second part is warm outreach and what you will do is reach out to your content engagers and or new followers using a script like this one you're going to say hey name thanks for the follow were you able to get the asset in my pin post by any chance pro tip follow up with your giveaway engagers and i promise you you have a hard time not booking calls especially if your asset asset was actually good okay and something i want to let you know this is an example please don't copy paste this one because otherwise the, the script is going to stop working what i want you guys to do this is actually the best thing you can do by far is record a selfie of yourself and be like hey you happen to be on my phone listen thank you for the follow i hope that you actually go and enjoy the content here on my twitter profile make sure to go and watch also some of my youtube videos so that you can enjoy them and get some more clarity on x thing that you do i actually have an action plan that i like to give to my new followers where i break down my process to do x y and z would you like me to drop it here for you let me know either way pleasure to meet you hit me up if there's anything i can do for you a lot of people mostly if they already follow you are going to say yeah man send me the resource you send them a resource and then you have a conversation going on okay so that's outbound. When it comes to inbound, this will be mainly dependent on you on, on you optimizing your profile and keeping a consistent content cadence to make sure that people actually get nurtured about whatever it is that you do, okay? And depending on how much qualification you need from your leads, I'll make it easier or harder to book meetings based on that. So if you don't need that much qualification, then simply add your book a call page or whatever calendar link in your bio. If you need a lot of quali for qualification for people to do business with you, then send people to your YouTube or your Facebook group or something like that so that you can nurture them, etc., and then manually book the meetings. If I had to make this like a ranking or whatever it might be, the three best ways to get clients inbound from Twitter is number one, by your profile setup, which is already covered. Two, adding a follow-up tweet to your content. Okay, so for example, every time you make a post, you're going to say, let me give you an example. You make a post in here and you say, I don't know, you say, this is the tweet, you add the plus sign, and then you say, by the way, I'm looking for X, etc. And you do the call to action, making people actually book calls with you. I made one of these the other day, and I immediately had like two or three people booking calls without me having to do anything. So that's something that is really, really powerful if you actually do it correctly, okay? So that's the second way. Then the third thing is what I call spaghetti travel. And what this means is simply just create content and focus on a few platforms. That's what it means. Because on social media, most people search for you everywhere before they buy slash hop on, hop on a call with you. And Twitter can indirectly nurture your prospects by sending them to your youtube channel then the youtube channel sends people back to twitter then from twitter they go back to your facebook group then your group your group sends people to youtube youtube sends people to instagram etc so the third way is simply by having an entire ecosystem where people can actually get nurtured follow a spaghetti travel and ultimately buy from you if this video was helpful make sure to leave a like let me know your thoughts on what i just shared with you guys over here on the comments i think that at least for people who have already put a little bit any any effort whatsoever in growing their twitter account this is going to be quite helpful but regardless of that just let me know your thoughts on this one and just to end up this video guys i really want to thank you all for the well for the 1000 subscribers that we just re recently 
um, well, we're able to to get to. It, I mean, I never thought that we were going to get to this stage like at the year time. And I mean, it's been life changing for me. I hope that in the best of my capacity, I can keep giving back to you guys. Okay. So thank you for everything. Last thing that I would say, if you're interested in partnering with us, we're always looking for coaches and agencies doing at, at least 10, 15K per month so that we can grow them. And if you're interested in seeing what that would look like, go ahead to the link in the description. For everybody else, go ahead and also check some of the resources and stuff that we have going on for you guys. We're actually releasing low ticket, low barrier of entry, super low cost, specifically for people who are beginners, etc. So if you're interested in seeing what that would look like, go ahead and again, just check that link in the description. So we're a further see you guys in the next one. Speak soon. Bye.